But if I say I'm Jason Sean Bennett and these are my values, this is what I do, and then you watched how I live my life, you'd see, oh, his values match up with his integrity and his honesty and, you know, that's what he does. And, you know, if you're a mass murderer and you say, I'm a mass murderer, then that's integrity because you are saying what you are and what you do in the world, you know. So integrity is not about good or bad. It's about your word matching the world, you know, and you saying what's going to happen before it happens. That's what integrity really is. Honesty is reporting on the world. So honesty is me saying, for example, this is a pillow. That's me being honest, right? But integrity is me saying, you know, tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., I'm going to be doing push-ups here in yoga. I'm going to pick up this pillow and I'm going to use it to lie on. And if you came back at 6 a.m. and saw me doing my push-ups and my yoga, leaning on the pillow, that's integrity. Because mm -hmm. I said it before it happened and the world matched my word. So I'm kind of rambling a bit here, but it's, it's, it's such a fundamental part of our behavior is integrity and honesty and, and doing what you say. And that also creates happiness in the brain. You know? So you know, courage, honesty, vulnerability leads to happiness. You, know, you, you can't leave a job that you're unhappy at without having an attitude about it, without changing your behavior called walking out the door and quitting you know you can't go for your dream or go for the, the person you want to be with without having a behavior change you know you have to be vulnerable so behavior change is all mixed in with vulnerability and vulnerability seems to be one of those things that's that's so scary for people you know the, the, the fear of deep shame is so strong in people 